Welcome back to the shop guys. Today we're gonna be working on the LT. I'm be taking everything off the outside of it off. Um, getting ready to put the camshaft and the DOD delete in it. So just last thing we did was um, put the paint in the engine bay. So now I'm really putting everything back on the engine bay, like these little hood stoppers, we took everything off. I put like the windshield wipers and stuff. Got everything jet black inside the engine bay. Going to the, we're gonna do a bunch of touch-ups with the rattles cans after we get the engine in there. But most of the most part, everything's jet black. Came out pretty good. There's some areas that could have been better, but for the most part, it's a badass job. First time doing a job like this, so now that this engine bay is looking good, I'm ready to put the engine in there. So we're gonna start off with taking this harness off, taking everything from the outside, stripping it down to a long block. I'm gonna go ahead and just set the tripod up and let you guys follow me around as we strip this thing, strip this engine to a long block. And we might put the at the once we get to a long block, we'll probably cut the video. It might be too long after that. But let's go. So we're gonna start with this computer and the harness. Got a bungee cord holding it up. Computer. Ah, I'm getting a bit of a mosquitoes. Come off. Oh, for real. I was wondering why it was an empty spot there. The blue connector. The black connector. We got gray connector I'll be putting all this stuff to the side on the table or whatever oh yeah before I get into this video I'm gonna show you guys what's gonna be getting put on look in the boxes If you, watch the, if you haven't watched that Camaro video, go ahead and watch it. Some of this stuff is kind of similar. Or if you watch the Camaro video and you want to see more details, you're in the right spot. At this time, I'm trying to put more details. Look at that, guys. We'll be putting that on there. That's the valley cover. We got lifter um, trays. Trick flow LSX displacement on demand kit. Hope they got the right stuff. Got a GM. Um, Wow, that's cool. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out later in the video. Look like a plug. Got a plug. We got head bolts. Got head bolts. Some lifters, 16 pack, and we got some head gaskets. GM, they put GM head gaskets come from the factory. 
that's a good deal right there nice packet so they got like a um, a package from summit but they went on and got everything you need from the gm dealership the best parts so this is a good package if you guys want to know what the package number is i'm gonna try to put it in the description because i don't think it's on the box i didn't the customer had picked these packages out so have to do a lot of measuring just to make sure that um the right package they fits properly kind of wears me because uh, some of this stuff says LX and this is a LT motor okay. it's one box Let's go get another box Looking for the motor mounts. It said the motor mounts were here, but I haven't seen them yet. This right here, I believe, is a radiator. So we got a radiator with the fan on it. That's nice. Go ahead and pull that out for y'all. It's a box right here. It comes from Gladiator or what's that Griffin radiators? Put this on a tripod so I can. Alright guys, so we got the radiator with the fans looking nice. Little connector. I don't know, let's see what else it came with. It says the blue is positive. Gotta have a, uh, a female end of the connector. They're gonna have a male end of it. So let me move this one over. See what else is in the box. First box I'm opening. Uh. Cool, got a relay, harness, fuse to the battery, connector to the fan. Also look like a temperature sensor. Not sure what that is. Cool. Like some instructions. Cool. Picture instructions. Second box I'm opening. Another relay set. So this could be for dual fans. Look like the identical boxes for each fan. There's two fans. So I guess you can control it them individually however you want to. One of the long tube headers pulled out. Gonna be checking to see if that fits, hopefully on this video. Turn that block down to a long block, getting all the accessories and harness and stuff off of it. Also, what came in the box. It says, make sure you tough line it. It's a drain plug with a little valve on it. I guess you can drain it. Twist that little valve, you can drain the radiator fluid out. 
Poly Spider EFI conversion fuel tape. Three four boxes. Three boxes in one box. First box. I'm not sure what this is. Like the fuel pumps unit itself. Careful with that. I'm trying to make this the best. Unboxing video you guys experience. Actually, it'll work out for me. Zip ties. Notice I'm actually handling this stuff with care. Got some zip ties, like a strainer in there. For the reason it feels like another fuel pump. This might be a fuel pump, but that might be a fuel level sending unit. Pump assembly. Yeah, there's another fuel pump. This is a fuel pump assembly. That's the sending unit assembly. So this right here um, sends the fuel to the engine, and the other box tells the gauge of how, uh, what the level is. I don't think I need to open the fuel tank, guys. Let's open it. I really don't want to. I think we all seen a fuel tank before. Uh, yeah, I'm not opening, guys. Stay tuned if you want to see what this fuel pump looks like. We're going to be opening it whenever we install it. But I'm pretty sure it's just a piece of metal tank. Well, stay tuned. That's the reason why I showed you all these parts, guys. So stay tuned. It's going to be a long uh, journey putting all this stuff together. So stay tuned. Forgot to show y'all what's in the red package. Probably our electrical harness. Check valve type of deal. Got some gaskets, some hardware, like a cover for the fuel pump, maybe. Maybe a cap for the fuel filler neck or something. Bunch of miscellaneous stuff, I believe, to install that fuel tank. So hopefully, it comes with just a bunch of plug and play stuff here is 
spring kits. And Brian Tooley, your springs in here for the um, house. Uh, I guess you guys want to look. I'm getting tired already. I don't play like opening the boxes. Let me open it for you guys. Got some instructions. What else we got in here? Got some spacers for the exhaust. That's pretty cool. I didn't see that in the last spring set I had. Got a lot of. Got some uh, valve seats and stuff for the new springs. Last kit I had didn't come with these. You had to buy them separate. Springs, double springs, they're all metalish chrome looking. Looks pretty nice, huh? That's the spring kit, guys. Right here we have the camshaft. Camshaft. Got a cam cart. This is what you guys want to see right here. Camshaft is just a piece of metal, but this actually show you what the piece of metal is grinded to. So we got the intake. There's a part number right there. It's a grind number. It's a load separation. Time in advance. It's your overlap. Here's your exhaust specs. All right. So this is Brian Tooley. So it's supposed to be three degrees advance to properly have this um, camshaft, and it's a non um, AF AFM camshaft. So, let me show you all the mounting holes on this bad boy. Cam cart. So this one, this one takes the single bolt. One bolt goes through there. Not sure if that's the right one. Never tore down the LT, but camshaft is what it is. This is my spring kit. It actually give you a little warning how to set the springs. Incorrect. Incorrect. I'll be reading that. More valve train components. Still missing some motor mounts. I gotta call my guy and tell him I don't have the motor mounts. These look like push rods. See if they have the dimension of them. Right here, here's the dimension. Chrome Molly one piece push rod, 7.8, 5, 16s, uh, 80 thousandths wall on there. Here, gonna have some timing components. Oh wait, here's the motor mounts. I was, I was gonna call them 
say we don't have. So they were inside the truck. He did confuse me. He said they were taped up in a box. I don't know if they were. Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe they were. But I'm glad we got the motor mounts here. That means as soon as I'm done building the engine, I can go ahead and mount it to the chassis. We got the motor mounts. Glad they're in here. He swore up and down they was. Instructions. So I don't see the brand on here, guys. Well, I'll try to put all this stuff in the description. Everything I'm using on this project. last box man it's gonna be a real long video I didn't know it's gonna be an unboxing video I'm probably just gonna make this a separate video it's unboxing and then the long block video is gonna be another video I don't know depending on the algorithm if it's longer than 10 minutes is a transmission conversion kit this is going to convert a 4x4 into a two-wheel drive transmission this is not that much videos on YouTube this conversion I'm gonna be attempting this so this is the bottom this right here turns it into a two-wheel drive Sorry guys. This will be the tail. This will be the inside the transmission. I have to clean that up. Got like a little scrape right there. And also it has this like a converted tail shaft. So stay tuned if you want to see how to convert your 4x4 transmission. This is going to be like a 10L90 transmission. I believe it's the same for the 8L90 transmissions. Put if you guys uh, want to add info in the comments if I'm misleading. But yeah, it's a nice tail shaft. Supposedly this kit, you don't have to completely open the whole transmission you will have to open some of the transmission up so you have to be a little bit mechanically inclined not I guess willing to tackle the transmission but I don't, I don't believe it's a full transmission teardown to get this part in there I think you just have to tear down the uh, the bottom oil pan probably some of the valve body Alright guys, so stay tuned if you want to see the whole project. I'm gonna be cutting it right here and separating this video and starting back over on the long block. So if you want to see me start tearing to the project. We already, like I said, got the paint inside the engine cab. We got most of the stuff taken out. The um, old block is already at the owner's house. He came and picked it up. We got the transmission that we're gonna be doing the trans um, conversion kit right over here it's gonna be this one this clean one right here this housing is gonna be coming off we're gonna be converting it and we're gonna be doing a fuel tank conversion kit we're gonna be doing a camshaft dod delete we're gonna be doing installing the nice clean radiator and we're gonna be tearing down this block into a short block 
changing the head gaskets, taking the lifters out. So stay tuned, guys. We got a lot of stuff going on. We try to get all this stuff out this month. That's the um, that's the um, the goal right there that we're aiming for. So stay tuned.